What's going on everybody and welcome back to Exploring Investments with Justin. And in today's video, we're gonna be talking about another company that's part of the EV sector. And this company is Nano One Materials. And I'm sure that this is a company that most people probably haven't heard of. And in this video, we're gonna cover three main topics with the first one being who they are and what they do, as well as what future growth I see for this company. The second thing is the financials because you always wanna look at the health of a company as well as the revenues and profits. And the third and final topic we'll be talking about is what I personally think about this company and whether or not I'll be starting a position in them. So be sure to stick around to the end of the video and let me know in the comments section what your thoughts are on Nano One Materials and be sure to smash that like and subscribe button because it really does help out the YouTube channel and I will be putting out more stock analysis videos similar to this one. And real quick, before we jump into today's video, I do wanna let you know that the first link in the description will be a link to the Discord chat. So be sure to check that out as we now have a community going and you can request videos on there. So be sure to check that out if you have the Discord app. And with that being said, let's jump right into today's video. So Nano One Materials is a company that's actually based out of Canada and is a technology company that has a patented process for the low cost production of cathode materials within lithium ion batteries. Now looking at their mission statement, their goal is to establish their technology as the leading platform when it comes to the global production of new generation battery materials. Now their technology can be used for a wide range of batteries for electric vehicles, energy storage, and consumer electronics. And as we all know, the adoption of electric vehicles and battery storage will be the future of transportation and how we consume energy. So if they can position themselves correctly within this industry, then this should give them a huge boost over time. So as of right now, Nano One is traded over the counter with the ticker symbol NNOMF. Now, before we dive into the video, just remember that typically stocks that are traded on the OTC markets are generally considered as higher risk investments. So please be sure to do your own research before starting a position in this company. Now looking at the stock price, we can see here that they are trading at just over $2 a share. And over the last month, this stock has shot up well over 100%. So there has definitely been some interest in this stock recently. So what I'm going to do now is switch over to their most recent investor presentation slide from July of 2020 so that we can look at who they are, what they do and what growth they have moving forward. So let me know in the comments section if you guys like the structure of this video where I cover first who they are, then the financials, and then what my opinion is. So as we know, Nano One is positioning themselves to be the leader in cathode production technology. And this industry is projected to be worth $23 billion by 2025. Now currently Nano One has 16 patents with over 30 more patents pending. So they are in the process of protecting their intellectual property when it comes to their technology. And the great thing about these patents is that it presents a $1 billion licensing opportunity which has the potential to really help provide some serious revenue and could help accelerate the growth for this company. Now, Nano One has also been able to land several strategic partnerships that I believe will help them grow tremendously. So in my opinion, the most important partnership is the one that they have with Volkswagen. And as we all know, Volkswagen is one of the largest automakers and they've actually made it a goal to have 22 million electric vehicles on the road over the next 10 years. Now, if Volkswagen can meet this goal, this this could provide Nano One with a steady revenue stream for several years to come, which is a big deal given that they currently have no revenue. And I'll get into that in just a minute when we look at the financials, but if Nano One can help improve the life cycle and range of batteries in Volkswagen vehicles, then I could see this turning into a much longer partnership because range and durability are some of the most important factors when it comes to making people switch from your traditional ICE vehicles to battery electric vehicles. And right now, Tesla is the leader in battery technology and providing customers with a comparable range to ICE vehicles. So what we're looking at here is the EPA range in miles of the top electric vehicles being made right now. And what we'll see is that pretty much the top four vehicles in battery range are all Teslas. So they clearly have an advantage when it comes to battery technology. But what's crazier is that if we look at their Model S that was made over eight years ago in 2012, that car still gets better range than cars like the 2020 Chevy Bolt and even higher end luxury cars like the Porsche Taycan, the Jaguar I-Pace, the Mercedes EQC, 
and the Audi e-tron. So all the competitors will need a way to compete with Tesla on this front. And this could be the partnership that helps Volkswagen achieve this. So I think this will definitely be something to watch over the next several quarters. So moving on to part two of the stock analysis, we're gonna be looking at the financials for the company. So turning to the most recent financial filings for Nano One, we can see that as of the end of June, they had almost $9 million in cash and cash equivalents with over $10 million in current assets. Now this is extremely good compared to their current and long-term liabilities, considering that they only have $367,000 in total liabilities. So this would give them a current ratio of over 40, which gives them more than enough room to keep investing in the company without having to worry about paying off liabilities. Now the downside of the financials comes when we look at the income statement. As of right now, this company is bringing in zero revenue, which is never a good thing when you're looking to invest in a company and with no revenue coming in they are currently losing just about three and a half million dollars each quarter now there is some good news because it does look like they're starting to decrease that quarterly burn rate but still at a three and a half million dollar burn rate they only have enough cash to get them through the next four quarters so they'll either need to raise money or get more government grants to sustain operations longer than another year with no revenue. So they may end up having to dilute shareholders even further to keep funding the business. So this is definitely something to keep in mind if you're thinking of starting a position in this company. So if you made it this far into the video, be sure to let me know in the comment section down below what your thoughts are on Nano One and whether or not you'll be starting a position in them. Now, personally, I'll be waiting to see how they execute because they currently still have no revenue and are still not profitable. So I would like to see how the leadership team executes on their plan to profitability, which we'll take a look at right now. So that is the good news that Nano One has given investors a path to profitability with 2021 being the year they break even and 2022 being the year they finally start to bring in millions of dollars in profits. But of course, this is just a plan. So we'll have to see if they can execute on it. Now, I do think they're in an industry that will continue to see strong growth moving into the future because we are seeing a shift in society to battery electric vehicles and cleaner energy. So I do see massive upside in this stock, especially given that they only have a market cap of around 200, 250 million dollars. I'm just still not convinced that they'll be able to execute and bring in profits for investors. So this is a company that I will have on my watch list and I will be keeping an eye on. So make sure to let me know if you guys want me to do an update video on this company and any other companies that you'd like me to cover. So with that being said, I just wanna say thank you guys for watching. Be sure to hit that like and subscribe button because it does help out the YouTube channel a ton. And I will catch you guys on the next one.